it's it's best if one of your bees is like not too bad against the Pokemon. It's not like you're not trying to bait out Mud Boys by using Bastiodon. But we're going to see. Oh, and this is a really, really bad matchup for the Cresselia, even if it has Moonblast. Oh, man. Yeah, that's not a matchup you really want to be in as the Cresselia. The shiny Cresselia. It does have super effective Moonblast, which will do about 40%. And Arcus Aurelius probably is expecting a swap or a catcher, so he hasn't thrown his attack just yet. This Moonblast will connect. If you get a debuff here, it doesn't, isn't that bad. And oh man, we're getting the Umbrium Mirror, but Arceus Aurelius is escaping this mirror into the Annihilate. I think that Umbrium can win a zero shoot scenario here. Yes, and I think that Umbreon has two Snarls advantage right here. So even though there is a lot of counter damage, this might be dangerous for the Annihilate. However, I don't think two Fall Play will knock out the Annihilate. You need Fall Play and Dark Worlds for that. I think so too. Let's take ah, a look here. It's gonna be close. Yeah, I think the foul plays are good. Oh, he's putting up the shield here though. Let's take a look. There's no psychic, so interesting that he put up the shield there already. Perhaps Arceus already, already knows how he wants to play out this matchup. Go for the Shadow Boy here. Doesn't want to take another charge sec because if he does, then the Cresselia can farm down this Annihilate. And now you still have energy. Oh man, can Umbreon get to another oh, one here? Oh, no, oh, he goes down with the foul play. Annihilate is loaded with energy here. I mean, you can't farm it down with the Cresselia, but you're going to take a lot of damage. Luckily, Secret does have a protect shield, two protect shields even still. Yep, I was going to say, Secret has the one shield up. The question is, does he call a Night Slash bait? He does immediately, and this is going to deal so much damage. This is going to be a big boom! A lot of damage on Cresselia, and here comes the army for the combo play with the foul play. That is incredible. Just as you predicted, you told this story about Lindo Rogev, and this is going to happen again here. The Cresselia gets knocked out, and now this is such a comfortable HP for the shiny Umbreon. It is going to deal a lot of damage to that Skummery as well. I think at this point, Secret's last hope is that there is a Gligar in the back. Gligar's heart walled by Skarmory, but we do see in the back that there's another Skarmory for Arcus Aurelius in the back so this is looking like a very uphill battle going to shield with the first foul play you want to keep some health on this skarmory here yep the skarmory also you can't really debuff yourself anymore com <laughs> comfortably because like this is a sky attack now if this was a brave bird you're definitely going to lose the next matchups even against the gligar and the sky attack doesn't knock out here so very clever no shield from arceus aurelius Umbrian just doesn't go down foul play connects Put Skarmory to the yellow. I think at this point, Secret is really praying that there's a Gligar in the back. Let's take a look what Arceus Aurelius is going to bring in here. Even Annihilate could still get to a charge deck. It looks like that is what Arceus Aurelius is going into. Pulling the last shield. I believe this is even charge deck priority. Yep, this is so, so bad. Arceus Aurelius does just not want to reveal the last Pokemon that he has in the back. He also has... I mean, if he uses the shield now, that is still not going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, because there's a full Skarmory in the back. <laughs> Yep, the full Skarmory is going to clonk, clonk, clonk in the mirror match, and it is going to knock out Secret's uh, Skarmory for the 1 0. Yeah, Secret st says stop tapping here. He knows Arceus Aurelius, the Viking Warrior, takes get crushing it, going out with a lot of energy, forcing too many shields immediately. And again, we see Umbreon in to the Cresselia. Many players use Umbreon as a safe swap. This is why Secret thinks he can avoid it with Cresselia if he puts it in the lead, but he can't. Secret is not very happy with it. We see the matchup being played the same. Arceus Aurelius is not throwing his energy just yet, perhaps predicting a switch. Uh, let's take a look here what Secret is going to do. Perhaps trying to catch on to his own Umbreon and met immediately by the Annihilate. Annihilate is starting to punch here. Yep, Annihilate dealing a lot of damage with those counters. It's actually getting really, really close to that Shadow Ball. Got the Shadow Ball stored already. Secret has the first fall play. Are we going to see just an immediate repetition here? We have a Lantern in the back this time around. Yeah, Annihilate just takes this. When shields are up, Annihilate just takes this this Umbreon yeah. easily. It's like lunch. It's like a lobster just to go for this Annihilate here. Yeah, you got to shield one, though, because you really rely on the counter damage. Yeah. That is true. Counter is coming through. Shadow Ball is going to come down here. This is not something... Oh, actually, a great. Tries to go for a little bit more energy. Is he gonna definitely going to get it here? Wow. Right before the foul play. What a magnificent undercharge. Comes out with the Shadow Ball even. This Annihilate is loaded with energy. Secret has nowhere to go, really. He can go into the Cresselia, which can take the Shadow Ball. We've seen that before. Let's see what Arcus really is going to do here. Going for that Shadow Ball here. Not going to bait. Not going to fool around with the Nice Ace. Oh, here we 
we go again, Leo. Shadow Ball is being charged. It's going to do super heavy damage. Boom! Ooh. Massive damage. Almost takes off the entire Cresselia. And look at this. You even still have to throw the Grass Knot because, yes, this is super effective Psycho Cuts. However, they deal no damage to Annihilate. Knocks off the Annihilate with a Grass Knot. Narcus Aurelius is just looking so chill here in this matchup with two foul plays on the Umbreon. In comes Lantern, the fish to take this foul play. Does moderate damage, but we see in the back the Cresselia. I think Arcus Aurelius is looking at his opponent. His opponent's looking back. Secret knows this is going to be very tough. Cresselia is just so strong in this matchup, and I think it's hungry for the fish. Yes, the Lantern is going to connect a Thunderbolt here. Barely tickles Cresselia. Cresselia is going to answer with a Grass Knot. I will tell you what deals damage. It is going to be super effective. Ah, oh, never mind the shield. Yeah, he does put up the protection here. Secrets may be trying just a little bit still. He might have some play if he can maybe make a catch later. But man, Cresselia, it just has so much defense, so much HP. Yeah. The thing is, even if you make a catch, there is still an Umbreon in the back. And that Umbreon has a lot of HP, still has a foul play loaded. Even if you catch, even if you get rid of the Cresselia of Arcus Aurelius, this Umbreon is not easy to take down. Absolutely. Thunderbolt is coming through here. It won't look out Cresselia just yet. Maybe we can make a catch here, then can spark down. But oh. Arcus Aurelia is patient. The Viking warrior, he's not just good at battling, he's also good at waiting. And he waits for Lantern to try and swap, but not able to. Then goes into the Umbreon, and <laughs> we see a catch here. But a super fact is Secret <laughs> is cheering. Wow, I did something in this battle. <laughs> yes, wow, what a catch. The super effective Cresselia knockout here. Lantern is going to get to a charge attack, but it is not not going to waste anyone's time. The snarl down of Arceus Aurelius seals the deal. Crazy. The Viking warrior Arceus Aurelius played so solid in this.